Now, we should all be opposed to socialistic communism, for it is our mortal and spiritual enemy, the greatest evil in the world today. But the reason many liberals don't want the American people to form study groups, to really understand and then fight socialistic communism, is that once the American people get the facts, they will begin to realize that much of what these liberals advocate is actually helping the enemy. The liberals hope you'll believe them when they tell you how anti-communist they are. But they become alarmed if you really inform yourself on the subject of socialistic communism. For after you inform yourself, you might begin to study the liberal voting record. And this study would show you how much the liberals are giving aid and comfort to the enemy and how much the liberals are actually leading America towards socialism itself. For communism is just another form of socialism, as is fascism. So now you can see the picture. These liberals want you to know how much they are doing for you, with your tax money, of course, but they don't want you to realize that the path they are pursuing is socialistic and that socialism is the same as communism in its ultimate effect on our liberties. When you point this out, they want to shut you up. They accuse you of maligning them, of casting aspersions, of being political. No matter whether they label their bottle as liberalism, progressivism, or social reform, I know the contents of the bottle is poison to this republic, and I'm going to call it poison. We do not need to question the motive of these liberals. They could be most sincere. But sincerity, or supposed benevolence, or even cleverness, is not the question. The question is, are we going to save this country from the hands of the enemy and the deceived?